to supplement the vision system that I'm working on for Anthony. I'm also going to be working with sonar and infrared. So tonight, rigged up just a couple of infrared sensors on the front. Pretty hillbilly, right? Just strapped right into a breadboard. There's only three of them. It's probably going to be at least two or three times that amount once it's done. But uh, just wanted to play around, play with some code and play with some distance and see how things work. So I've coded up really, really basic rules and instructions for him to follow. Um, so I'm going to plug him in and give him a test, let him run down the hall and probably break some stuff, undoubtedly run into some walls. So let's see how he does. Just going to get him kind of set up. He's going to take off pretty quick. It's another thing I did today is strap in that new motor there. Let me spin it around, get a good look at it. This is a uh, this is a motor that picked up from all electronics. It's a uh, it's actually a 24 volt motor, but I've only got 12 running to it, so it's it's played down a little bit. But um, it's used for bicycles. It comes in a kit for bicycles. You can strap onto your bike, like a Schwinn bike, and and motor power the thing. So it's got a lot of power. Certainly more power than uh, a robot of this size needs, but it's really smooth. It's quiet as hell. You actually can't hear it. It's kind of scary. And uh, a lot better action than the, the Bainbot motor that I had in here before. So anyhow, plug this sucker in and give it a ride. can't promise anything. Stuff like that. It's going to happen. Just because there's three sensors set up instead of probably six, nine, twelve sensors. You can see them fishtail down. Oh, <laughs> again more sensors would have alleviated that. Alright, let's see what he does. See if he can't get out of this jam with his crude, crude setup. Oh, well, that's a pretty good decision. Definitely on the verge of destroying something here. So I'm gonna hop in his way, I think. That's a laptop. I'm here, pal. So let's send him off one more time. See what, uh, see what kind of mischief it can get into. Yep. Getting caught up, doesn't have enough uh, coverage on the sensors, like I said. Um, but once put three more sensors in there, so you get really good coverage, um, just for like tactical sensors, right? Just so it's aware of its immediate space and surrounding. Um, but the primary navigation, um, as I've talked a lot about, is going to be the vision system. So these are just kind of the the fingers, the hands, and the feet of the system, again, responsible for immediate environment, what's going on around it, and, and, and perhaps overriding what the eyes see or the vision system sees. So it's on its way. It's got a lot of work, but so far, so good.